Good morning, folks. If you didn't catch our upload last night, the CME we expected with that sundiving comet came pretty quickly. The Great Wall of Plasma is no more, erupting into space off the northeastern limb well before it could threaten Earth in any way. The CME is now beautifully visible on Soho, Lasco. After missing frames initially, they have all been put back. Let's go take a look on Cactus for a bit of a surprise. Despite the enormity of the eruption, it lifted straight off rather than ripping from one side, which means it was going to be a slower ejection. Indeed, it is possible that if Earth had been directly hit with this eruption, that it still might not have seen any damage. Nice chain reaction event as well. That first release set off coronal and umbral fields, which allowed a massive filament to release on the back side of the sun, due south. That must have been quite the thing for us to see it from this side of the star. Apart from those events, we don't have much to analyze on the sun, which is good because we had a temporary data blackout last night, which is especially odd because this is two different satellites here. They have GOES-15 and 13 on this page so that if one goes down, we'd still have flare readings. Whoops. But as I said, calmer day with the spots departing up north leaving that central grouping as our primary focus. It is now totally separated magnetically. No positive negative interaction. The group is now beta class only. Nevertheless it is popping in low C range this morning. But something developing this morning in the solar wind. A slight uptick in the pressure came with a different phi angle and the BZ is tipping south. The electron flux hit the floor upon the change, but Earth's magnetic shield is doing just fine. Massive southern coronal hole brought us the quake watch, and then it began losing power by the hour, now only about half as influential as before. But we do, of course, have a replacement. This one is holding tremendous force in the equatorial portion and likely is not going to change. Hello there. Yesterday it was unusual location rumbling with this one in the Caribbean. Anything over 4.0 is significant there. The same goes for California. And with the top quake of the day coming to Greece, when you get into 5 magnitude range, it's time to pay a bit more attention here in the eastern Mediterranean. Electric theorists, forgetting the use of the term dark matter, they are finding that this stuff does not interact with itself, like a wave or a velocity vector, which points back to the hypothesis that galactic scale fields and currents are actually the culprit definitely cutting in that direction. And while we're being understanding, despite the fact that us and similar EU proponents don't think black holes are quite what they say they are, there is still a gas cloud circling the center of our galaxy and whatever is there. This is one heck of a story about how the cloud hit the close approach and stayed together. Moving on. Coming out of Princeton, forget cars and industry. The real plan to reduce carbon emissions is, well, dictatorial and another reason to be very suspicious. I am loving this article. It shows why the underground environment of Mars would be conducive to microbial life flourishing, similar to certain locations on Earth. It's only a matter of time before we find things swimming in the star water. A quick note for website members. Yesterday's Deeper Look episode was an immediate candidate for Deeper Look episode of the year. Don't miss it. And of course, today is Saturday, so our Fly on the Wall podcast will take place in a few hours. Got a pretty amazing lineup today. We're on to the weather for a catastrophe in Chile as seven years of rain fell in 12 hours. Seven years of rain in 12 hours. The death toll is going to take a while to compile in this event. Structurally and agriculturally, the scenario isn't going to be much better. With all those solar eruptions yesterday, the Uyen factors are surging and a typhoon candidate has formed in the West Pacific. This one is not yet fully organized, but the rotation and shape are coming together and I would expect some strengthening as it treks west, south of Guam, into early next week. Ugh, not this again. While heat records are getting smashed out west, we are seeing cold records in parts of the east. Should continue for a few more days. No major storm zones expected in the U.S. tonight, but the wind drive off pressure systems is creating that major climate extremes event in temperature, aided by the jet stream as well. The oscillation of those streams pull air into the curves. In Europe, we've got convergences from Atlantic lows cresting here 
while further inland to the right we can see the convergence from yesterday's lows having shifted a bit. Those two areas are going to get the alerts tonight. Any wind reports from Ireland and the UK are very welcome. Down under, it's an easy analysis once again with a remnant low up to the north, another low over next to New Zealand, and a weaker but still surviving convergence in the western areas. Those are the regions where you're going to see the clouds here in the overnight for your area. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Lot to see over at suspiciousobservers.org. Check it out. Eyes open. No fear. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.